Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm like three videos in three days. And yes, I am wearing the same jacket that I wore the other day as a shirt, but today I'm wearing it as a jacket. Honestly, I just had this little jumpsuit on, but it, it's cold in here. So I was like, let me just throw on the jacket. My hair is done. So I feel a lot more like myself, you know, I let, I don't mind like putting my hair up in a bun, but I don't know. Like it, it's just, it, it's not my true calling for hair. Like I like it up and done. So today I wanted to talk to you guys, just come on here and be honest. But first, um, a couple other things. So I did get my little Debbie candles in and what I thought is I was like, let me try them first so that when I make a video, I can be like, oh, like I, I like these. I approve of these. Listen, I, I know you're not supposed to pick up a lit candle. Nobody say nothing. This strawberry shortcake roll. I literally got it out of the box, smelled it. And I said, I have to light it immediately, immediately. And brought it in here like that wasn't even one that I was that was like an extra you know what I mean like I had to I think I got the honey bun and the nutty buddy um but the strawberry shortcake roll I was like man I'll just it it sounds good I'll get oh my god so yes maybe four videos in four days who knows but yeah anyway today I wanted to talk about therapy mental health, like everything that goes along with it, my therapy journey, because I have therapy this afternoon. I just do like a video conference, whatever. I love my therapist. But you know, like before, like I try to think of things that I need to talk about or need to say or what's going on. And I was just thinking, because I just feel like people just don't like I just don't see people talk about this kind of stuff. But for a lot of my life, I have felt like I am always in, like, you know that song by Casey Musgraves is like, um, happy and sad. It's like, what, what are the lyrics? Hold on. I can't, like, I know the lyrics, but like, do you ever try to think of a specific lyric and you're like, um, it's like, and they say everything that comes up must come down, but I don't want to come down. Like, it's just the idea of like, you know, you're good like you're happy but like you know that it's not gonna last and like I feel like for a long time like I've lived my life like that but in terms of like I'm good like I feel like my mental health's good and I'm solid and then like I'll have a breakdown or I'll have like a really big time and like moment of you know sadness and honestly like I just I don't know like part of me really like, I, I know that that's not a good way to live. Like, that's not a normal way to live. But it's just the truth. And last week, I think I met with her on Thursday last week. Um, and she... No, maybe it was Wednesday. Yeah. Um, and I was having such a good week. Like, I was like, you know, I'm working from home. Like, I felt really good about that. And, like, I felt really good in my relationship and all this stuff. And then, like, Sunday, I just had, like a minty B, like a mental breakdown. Like I had like a full on panic attack and I was just like questioning my relationship. I was like, oh my God, like he's gonna break up with me. And I was just like, so disappointed in myself for like a million reasons. Like I wasn't productive enough and like just things weren't really just going the way that I needed them to. And so it's gonna be like weird and like not weird, but I was like, I'm literally gonna have to like, tell her about all that after last week I was literally like oh my god I'm doing the best that I have um I'm doing better than I ever was or like better than I have in a long time and I started therapy in April because um I don't think I've ever talked about this on here no I haven't because I've made one video but me and Clayton were together like well, Clayton's my boyfriend shout out Clayton but we were together like three months and then we broke up for like two weeks and it was just it was one of those things where it was like you know what I mean like no, like you just f forget about it. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't a serious, like there wasn't really an issue in our relationship. It was just kind of a personal thing. And so we decided to get back together. And I, I think that that was for the best. Like I, I'm in love with him and I'm excited for our life together. Like all these things. Right. 
but I started that because I was in like I was like falling in love with this man and then like we broke up and like that's really really tough especially going through what you consider your first heartbreak right and so like my therapist the other day she was like I've seen so much growth in you over the last few months like in your relationship because it was new it's my first relation my first serious relationship and it, it's his as well so there's been a lot of ups and downs and like a lot of just figuring stuff out um but she was like I've seen a lot of growth in you and you know that meant a lot to me and I've seen a lot of growth in me too and so when things like this happen like I have these breakdowns and I'm just like questioning everything and just life in general it's it's like it's disappointing it's frustrating you know because you're like oh, doing so good like what happened um so I don't know I mean I've been doing therapy for a few months and what it's the tricky thing because like you go into therapy and you meet with your therapist and like we have a really great relationship we have a really good connection and you're like talking about these things and you're like okay like this is what I need to do and then like you get in a tough situation you're like oh my god like not have to apply it not have to actually do it and that's the tough thing like that's that's the struggle and I think that that's where, like, I've had to take a lot of accountability on things that, like, I don't even realize that I'm doing. Um, and it's tough. And, like, just to be, frankly, like, super transparent and honest, like, I, I saw this TikTok and it was, like, how to stop self-sabotaging your relationship. And I was, like, yeah. No, like, I do that. I feel like I do that a lot actually and obviously it's not something that I want to do but one of the things that me and my therapist talk about a lot in making decisions like I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing a lot of the time with my life like should I be here should I be doing this should I be doing that like just different things right and the way that I really think about it and what we've talked about is the fact that like and yes before somebody says like oh well some people okay if you have kids that you know are preventing you from moving this place and going this place and what okay I'm not talking about that I'm not I'm talking about like my situation like I am financially free like I can pretty much go anywhere within reason um, and I, you know, don't own any property. Like I don't own a home. Um, I own a vehicle, which, you know, not, not a big, um, but it's like, I don't have anything that ties me down to any area or any place or any job or any person. And I can literally go and do whatever that I want to do and set my mind to and like I'm going to law school next year and it's like I that's something like I can literally go anywhere and so to think of it that way like I am the person that is responsible for my life and choosing to do what I want to do it's like I'm choosing to be in my relationship I'm choosing to live here with my boyfriend like, I'm choosing, I, you know, chose to accept the job that I have. Um, I'm choosing to take the LSA in two weeks and, well, like a week and a half. And, you know, apply for law school and go to law school. Like, those are things like nobody's, and that's the, that's the beautiful thing about life. And that's the beautiful thing about being an adult. It's like, nobody's telling me to do anything. Nobody's making me do anything. Like, it was, it's scary to me because like when I was in like, you go through school, right? And you're like, okay, I get a job, like I live here. And then you go, you pick somewhere to go to college or you, whatever your path is. And then, you know, I was there for four years and then like you graduate college and you're like, all of a sudden, like there's no next step that just makes sense. You know, like when you graduate high school, it's like, ah, you go to college type thing. But there's no next step. Like there's nobody telling you what to do. There's nobody telling you how to live your life. And that can be very scary for a lot of people. But like, to me, it's, I don't know, like, it's very freeing. It's very rejuvenating, if you will. Um, and I, I like that. Like, I can literally do whatever I want. And also, like, I have a, 
a man who supports me to do anything. Like he knows, he has known from the beginning that I am an independent woman, that I like to travel and I like to do crazy stuff and I'm spontaneous. And like, you know, some of that has come to a halt a little bit because I, you know, choose to spend weekends with him and I choose to live a little further out in the country with him and I choose to, you know, spend my money in different places. And um, I'm like, let me, I'm on break, but let me, um, okay, anyway, but I just wanna make sure it wasn't like urgent. But yeah, so that that's kind of the thing. Um, it's like, I don't know. Like, when you think about is this the thing that I want to do? It's like you have freedom to do that or to not do that. And and that's perfectly fine. And you can change your mind at any moment. And I think that that's just, I don't know. Like, I, it, it's just very, it's very freeing to me. And it's like, it makes me feel confident in it makes me feel confident in the things that I'm doing and the way that I'm living my life, right? Like, I'm choosing this. And I'm choosing this way. I'm choosing this person. Like, I'm choosing this place. I'm choosing this career. Like, I don't know. And so, it just gives me confidence. But I think that sometimes I wonder it's like am I ever because I go through these like periods like I don't consider myself a depressed person but then like I look at these kind of like episodes that I have whatever and I'm like oh my god like that's scary you know and I just part of me just like kind of think like I think that that's just life like I think that that's just like dealing with the ups and downs and the struggles and you know I think that there is like depression right that needs to be treated but it's like I just think that I have moments where like I said like I feel really really high like really good and then it all of a sudden is kind of like I don't know just all the worries and doubts that you have and I think a lot of it too is like myself is like I've really my self-image has been just a roller coaster like a couple years ago, even like a year ago, like I thought it was like the best that it had ever been. And then like I've gained weight and you know, it's, it's weird because it's like, I feel like normally, like there's sometimes where I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so hot, like literally the hottest I've ever been, you know? And like, I have like a very supportive man who thinks that I'm beautiful and very attractive and that helps. But it's also like sometimes those negative thoughts just are overwhelming and like they they take over everything and there's really nothing that you can do about it um except to just you know try to keep reminding yourself that those that's not true like you're just you know saying that about yourself but it's not true um so I just I really think that therapy has helped me like it's been nice to sit down and like talk to somebody and like it's nice to have friends to talk about these things with but it's been nice to be like, oh, you know, this is like what she's like pointed out, like these cognitive distortions that I have. And like I, she sends me like information about them. And I'm like, yep, yeah, that's me for sure. Um, so I like therapy, but I just I wanted to talk about that because I just I don't know. Like I feel I feel like I don't hear or see a lot of people talk about these things and just the constant what I feel like is a cycle or like a roller coaster of just being like so high like everything's good in your life your life is perfect and then all of a sudden it's like you have you just have these anxieties and a lot of times like they're not even they're not even true like they're not even relevant they're not even like things that are probably even going to happen they're like random worst case scenarios but it's like you know it it's like that's just your brain sometimes and that's just life and I don't know by the way this strawberry shortcake roll candle smells so good um I'm gonna try to do my review maybe today or tomorrow um but anyway let me know if you guys have any thoughts if you're in therapy if you feel the same way sound off in the comments um just 
I was going to say quick little video. It's a 15 minute video, but I appreciate you guys watching and listening and, um, definitely don't forget to subscribe, but I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love you. And let me know what you want to see next, please.